Hey neighbor, welcome to your week four milestone. <laughs> if you've been following me from the very first day I posted my ALX virtual assistant review on the channel, <laughs> you'll know why I'm laughing. Week four is, uh, I can't believe I'm back here to do this again, just for you. Before we get started, I need to tell you this now, before you consider starting your milestone, please, Please, please make sure to go through your nursing materials. This is super important. There's so much you need to learn. Getting your milestone done every week is not the goal here. You're not competing with anyone. Today is Monday. Anybody that wants to submit their milestone the very first day of the week, let the person do that. Okay, you're not competing with anyone. I know some people skip this thing I'm talking now and go straight to the milestone. <laughs> That's fine. But if you are still listening to me, make sure to go through the lesson material before you start your milestone. That being said, like this video so it can reach a wider audience, share it with your friends and families. And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, just take a second and click that subscribe button. Make sure to turn on your notification as well and check out other videos on the channel. I see people asking about how do I write a virtual assistant resume? Where do I find websites to volunteer? Where do I find video and portfolio? I have all of these videos on my channel and the most surprising thing is that people ask this question in the whatsapp group and the telegram group i created and most of you join those groups from this channel so it's shocking to me that you don't even go through my videos like you don't go through my content to see what's my content this channel is like a hub for all of those things and then you skip them just to ask questions it's okay to ask questions, but not when you have the information right in front of you. <laughs> okay, so check out my playlist, check out other playlists on the channel and make good of those content. Okay, have you liked this video? <laughs> All right, so your week four milestone, it's about travel and project management. Travel planning is like the most difficult for this week. So we're going to start with the travel planning before the project management. So once again, Hey neighbor, welcome to your week four milestone. Okay, I just pray the Holy Ghost to help me on this one. So the travel planning is divided into, I think, three or four categories by ALX. This is the first one, which is steps one, two, three. These are the information in step one, and these are the information in step four to eight, and these are the information in step nine to 12. So the travel pack is basically 12 step. So let's start with step one which is open a new Google slide template, rename your document using your name, desired destination, and travel dates. Keep your personal copy of the travel pack open while you research information and complete all the steps below. Okay, so let's get started. What you need to do is just to click make a copy. So the first thing you're asked to do once you make a copy of your travel pack is to rename it to your name. So I'm going to see Mfon Akman underscore the country you want to travel to. When I did mine during my own training, I traveled to Singapore. Yes, <laughs> I created my travel pack for Singapore. So for this tutorial, where should we travel to? We're going to come back home. Okay, that's Africa. <laughs> so yeah, I'm about doing Thailand, but let's come back home to Sicilis. Yes, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sicilis. <laughs> okay, I would love to travel to South Africa, Kenya, and Ghana. Maybe I will if I have an all expense paid offer <laughs> for my birthday that is coming up next month. So this travel pack is going to be about my three day birthday vacation. <laughs> my birthday is on the 28th, so we're going to travel on the 26, 27, 28th. We still want to be there by 28th, so it's going to be 26th to 29th. 9th November 2024. Okay, so we're done with that. That's the first thing you have to do. The next thing I want to do now is the first slide. Before we do that, let me change the color. <laughs> yeah, so you come to background and click on color black. All right. Okay, so you're going to add your name. Fun. Akman. Increase the font size. Make it bold. Next is destination. Sicilis. Then next is date. 
uh, November 20, what did we say? Okay, November 26th to November 29th. That's three days, that's three nights. Yes, you can see right here. Imagine you travel to your choosing destination for three days and three nights. Okay, so this 26th, first night, 27th, second night, 28th, third night. So we're living on the 29th. Done with the introductory page. I want to show you something else, okay, that I did during my own training. During my own training, I changed this image. So if you want to do that to make yourself distinguish yourself from every other person, because this is the only template here, <laughs> you can go to Google and type in your location. So for the sake of this tutorial, we'll say Sichelist, here we go, and you choose images. Yeah, I think Sichel is there known for bitches. That's why we have a lot of bitches here. Not bitches, bitches. <laughs> okay, so you can just come here and download any of these images. Just right click. You can actually generate your image as well with AI. But let's just use this to make it faster. From here, you can just click on delete. Click on delete. I need to delete. <laughs> to change this color to what? Let me change it to black. So to bring in your image, all you need to do is to come to insert, click on image, upload from computer. My file might not show up, so yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have our images here. Okay, you get the idea of what I'm trying to do here. So <laughs> let's move on. Okay, so we're going to skip this table of content for now. We'll come back to it. We're going to come here to grid view. I'm going to drag exit further to where we have in just immediately after our table of content okay so yeah this is it all right drag it and drop okay I'm just going to say this again because I don't want any questions about this in the comments <laughs> to view this on grid and do what I just did all you need to do is to bring your cursor here where you have grid view click on it and then it changes to grid. You drag to wherever you want that particular information to be and drop. Okay? So that's why I did. <laughs> okay, so let's get back to business. <laughs> so let's get back to business. Okay. Now let's change the color. Remember, we're going to change this color. Where are you? Let's change it to should we change it to white? Should we work with black and white? Let's work with black and white. Meaning we're going to change the text to black. You can just play around this, okay? Exits entry exit information <laughs> okay so the next slide that's the cover page now the next slide where we're going to impute all the information let's change this to white the text to white so we can see what we're doing now how do i get the entry exit information about sichelis i am going to show you a very simple trick okay <laughs> there are three ways you can go about this first you can either use ChatGPT, gemini or you can use google Okay, so to make this very simple for you, if I'm using ChatGPT, I know to trust ChatGPT like that. I don't really speak correct English. I don't trust ChatGPT like that with the sources of information. Remember, you are asked to provide the sources, two sources of the information you're going to get. So I'm going to be using Gemini. And why I don't want to use Google is because Google will just embarrass and overwhelm you with so much information. But if you want to harness your research skill, by all means, use Google. But at this moment, we want to work smart. So this video is not too long. We're going to be using Gemini. G-E-M-I-N-I. -I. So all you need to do is just to come here. If you don't have an account, just sign up. It's very easy. As you can see, I signed up using my niece's email because I'm using her profile to do this tutorial. All you need to do now is to say to Gemini. Another reason I'm using Gemini is because Gemini searches the web, searches Google as well. All right. So we're going to say research the entry slash exit requirements for Sichelis. I'm not going to stop there. I'll say for one going on a solo trip. Also provide you were asked to provide two sources, but I'm going to I love having options. <laughs> so I'm going to say also provide four. You can use three if you want. Also provide four sources of the information you are going to provide. You can use this prompt for your own. Research the entry exit requirements for Ghana, Australia, for the UK, for the US, whatever country you want to use. Okay. And then we're going to press enter. 
and it's going to provide us with all the information we need and look at the sources here we have four sources so I can choose to use any one I want to use here so here I can see that the list is visa free I will need travel authorization the documents required a valid passport travel authorization return or onward ticket. what does that mean <laughs> I need this answer to be more streamlined okay so I'm going to say separate the entry and exits requirements my requirement is not requiring <sighs> okay requirements let's go so as you can see there are entry requirements and then there is no exit requirement okay so our next step is to copy this the documents required All right I'm going to copy this back to our slides entry we're going to say and paste it yep and then we're going to say here we're going to say visa free yay so we need a valid passport we need travel authorization return or onward ticket sufficient fund accommodation confirmation may be required in brackets next is exit here i'm going to say no exits requirements requirements <laughs> okay so the next thing is to enter your source what i'll do is to bring it here go back to gemini Okay. And you can open your sources and redo. Please, I'll, not even you can. You should. All right. So I'm just for the sake of this area, I'm just going to copy. I'm going to use this one for socialist government. I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Let me say sources. Oops. Let me say sources. Okay. First source. Aya. Hey. <laughs> uh, amazing monster rats. Change that to monster rights, increase the font, and let's change the color to white. All right, we're done with our entry exit information. Okay, <laughs> all right, what's the next thing to do? We're done with step one to three. Now let's move on to who is it? Now let's move on to step four to eight. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section okay and i will respond to you okay so remember to like this video so it can reach a wider audience and if you're yet to subscribe at this point kindly hit the subscribe button okay let's move on with step four etiquette and cultural expectations all right create an etiquette and cultural expectations slide research etiquette and cultural expectations in the destination city basically do's and don'ts let's get back to our slides for step four okay so i'm just going to do the same thing i did for this first one let me copy this you just have to come here copy ctrl v and paste it move to this point so we don't have to change keep changing colors <laughs> let's work with what we have let's work with what we've created okay i'm going to do the same thing for this i'm going to copy ctrl v and shift it over to the right move all right so here we're going to have etiquette whoosh 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 etiquettes and cultural cultural expectations expectations and then i'm come here and see something like do's and don'ts okay here we have our do's and don'ts okay here we have our etiquette and cultural expectations slide cover now let's fill that up now we're going to start with the do's have our don'ts okay so i'm going to go back to gemini you can use charge gpt for this if you want I'm going to say what are the do's and don'ts let me be very specific what are the cultural do's and don'ts of Sicilis? Mm. 
and then we wait for it okay I'm going to use the first two okay let's stretch this please make your travel pack need to I don't want this video to be too long if not, I would have really taken my time to do this okay so let's go back to the don'ts now and copy and paste uh, do's and don'ts one two one two <laughs> we're making progress are we not <laughs> all right let's go back to the next instruction we're done with that we're done with step four now step five research at least three activities you will do after you arrive at your destination create event information slides and add these activities there first let's create our slides i hope you are following and we copy and we paste we move it to where we want it to be and do this as well and then we move this here okay event information the next thing we're going to do now is to research i do not know anything about sigilis so you know the trail we're going to be using gemini steel so i'm going to say generate at least she know me already five <laughs> activities I can do while at sea chalice on a solo trip you were asked to research at least three but I'm using five so i can choose anyone i want okay so here we have island hopping hiking and trekking <laughs> trekking me snook snook killing snook killing and snook killing is it snook killing and diving mike yoga and meditation cultural exploration the first one let's use island hopping i don't know what that is but sounds great <laughs> okay so I'm going to remove some of the text. If you know me, I don't do copy and paste when I'm using AI, like without editing. <laughs> Visit, okay, blah, 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 all right. Can you come down? I'm going to do the same thing for this. Okay, I'm going to edit, edit this to hiking through, hiking through lush forest me hiking okay. I'm going to say visit okay all right so we're done with event information all right that's step five now let's move on to step six which is open a new Google sheet and create a clearly labeled budget table the budget table must show the cost in USD for visa application process Seychelles is a visa free country i was filling my google sheet i will not need this but i'm going to feel something there anyways you might be traveling to a country that needs visa so keep that in mind okay so you're going to also add your budgets for flights accommodation activities meals and your total cost now you go back to your google slides and create a slide called budget pay attention now the first thing we're going to do is to open a new google sheet can just rename this if you want so we have a new google sheet here what we're going to do is we'll come back here to copy these back to the google sheets and we're going to paste it <laughs> oh no i'm supposed to keep on space so i'm going to call this let's say items and then we're going to call this amount zero dollar okay so your amount is supposed to be in usd okay so how do you add the dollar sign just come here you can see here format as currency and you add it so if you want to remove the decimal points come here decrease the decimal points to zero if you want to increase it you can increase it here so you have to research the flight information the cost the accommodation the activities you might not know for exact for the activities anyways but just get estimates somewhere <laughs> and then increase it okay your meals as well and then the total what we're going to do now is to research our flight information 
your lesson materials, you had access to this Google Sheet. Yes, you had access to this Google Sheet. I think this Google Sheet contains information, resources for flight booking. Yes, so here you have cheapflights.com. Here you have the sites for accommodation, Expedia, and bookings.com. So make sure you use these resources to do your research, okay? For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to go back to Gemini and ask, what's the cost? What's the flight cost from Lagos to Sicilies? In USD, twenty-sixth November, twenty twenty-four to twenty-ninth. Uh, I'm living twenty-ninth. Yes, twenty-ninth November, twenty-twenty-four. Amount, amount should be in USD. Okay. So I won't have to come and be converting Naira to USD to save us time. Here we go. Departing 26th and returning 29th of November. 542 USD, but it has one layover in Addis Ababa. Okay. Yeah, it also provided me with other options. 142 USD. Okay. So let's come back to our travel, to our budget. 542 USD. Okay, accommodation is next. Let me do the same thing for accommodation. Before I give the prompts for accommodation, let me just get the flight out of the way. So I'm going to give more instruction to Gemini because we're going to need these details later, the departing time, the arrival time and all. So let me ask Gemini for more details. Give me the departure give me the flight information from Lagos to Sicilis to Sicilis and uh, Sicilis to Lagos Going to add the date 26 to 29th. A line only. Okay. So this is the details. Let me view it on Google. Alright, here we have it. I'm going to come back to this. Okay, that's why I had to do this. I'm going to come back to it. All right, now let's talk accommodation. Let's go to Google and say three days accommodation. Sicilis. Okay, this is Expedia. We saw Expedia, yeah, on that Google Sheets I showed you. Let's use this one. <clears throat> let's use Expedia. Okay, so going to Sicilis, checking dates. November 26 and date and date November 29 okay one adult one adult children zero okay check out dates must be within 28 days of check-in what did, what, did, what happened there within 28 days of oh I choose November <laughs> I choose December. Oh my god. 29, please. Okay. 15502. Okay, so converting that to dollar, we have 2000 plus. Let's just go back to our Google Sheets and say 2000. What should we use? Let's use 2100. <laughs> yes. And let's reduce the decimal point to nothing. Activity is say two hundred, two hundred dollars, and two hundred dollars for my meal. I'm going to do three hundred dollars. Remember, these are just estimates, okay? So that this video will not be too long. We get the total. We're just going to equal sign some. Yay! Then enter. Let's make this bold. 
Boom. Okay. So let's go back to our savannah. Where are we? Budget. The next step, we're done with this. The next step now is to go back to our slides and create a slide called budget. Copy and paste your budget from the Google Sheets. Now let's go back to our slides. You know the drill. Go back to grid. I'm going to have a cover for this. Okay. We're just going to use the same sheets for it. Call this. We're going to call this budget. Now we'll go back to our Google Sheets and copy and paste. How do you copy your Google Sheets to your Google Slides? I'm going to show you how to do that now. There are different ways you can do this. The first, you can go to your Google Slides, sorry, <laughs> your Google Sheets, copy the item, go back to your Google Slides. I'm all, <laughs> I wanted to say Google Sheets. Go back to your Google Slides, highlight the page and click on Control V. Here it will give you a prompt, link to spreadsheets. I'm going to use the second option, paste on link, and here you have your Google Sheets on your Google Slides. Second plan, let me show you another way you can do this. Okay, so you come back here, this is already highlighted. You come back to your Google Slides, on insert, go to table, and let's insert up to seven. Yeah, yeah. You paste. Okay, so this is like the long shots. <laughs> there are so many ways you can do this, but the easiest and fastest is the first one, the first option I showed you. We're done with step six, which is budget. Yes, we're done. Go, go and paste it on your budget slide. Yeah, we're done. Step seven is travel itinerary. This is the first one, and this is the second one, which is the chronological template. Go through your lesson materials, people. <laughs> We're going to have to use the categorical template. Categorical. Okay, you just click on it to make a copy. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to rename this to your name, vacation. Itinerary. Day. vacation prepare for fun Akman. trip dates trip start 26th of November and 29th November 2024 destination Sicilis yours truly <laughs> okay so departing date so we're going to check out by let's say 3 a.m why not that's are sleeping <laughs> Okay, so that's it. And this is the information for my event. Okay, on the 26th of November, I'm going to Victoria Market. Contact person. If you have a contact person, put that here. If you don't, you can equally delete this. And topic, I just added handcraft and souvenirs here. Yeah, you can choose to delete it if you want. My exploration is going to be by 2 p.m. And, and by 4 p.m exit if i want to remember we're just planning okay the next day which is 27 you were asked to uh you were asked to impute like one or two events for the first two days so the next day which is the 27th i will be going to the national history museum same victoria capital city here i have the time so we're done with our vacation itinerary the next thing we have to do now is to do what copy and paste your itinerary in your slide this table if you copy this table like this as it is to your google slides <laughs> it's going to be distorted all right what i did in mine instead of the table i just wrote down the text on the canvas that was it if you want to go through that process of getting to copy the table because first it's not like the one we did earlier it's not like this one this table is not organized <laughs> so if you want to copy the way it is to your google slides you will not be happy with it but this is something you can do okay 
So you come to chat GPT. Remember, we've copied the information here already. Come to chat GPT and tell chat GPT, arrange these information without the table. This information, let's say properly, information properly without the table. Okay. Okay, so here we have our information. Next thing we want to do now is to copy this information. Copy them one after the author to your Google Slides. All right, let's let's have this as a cover. All right, let's have this as a cover and then make another for the text. Seriously, this is something you can do <laughs> if you want to look for ways. You can actually look for ways to copy the table, anyways. But we don't have the time to do that. <laughs> Okay, so the next information is our departing flight. We're going to copy that. Come back to our slides and just paste it. So I'm going to speed this up while I do all the copy and paste. I'll show you later. Here we have it. Purpose, the trip, start date, destination, all the things we had on that table departure flight returning flight hotel and events okay so that is it for step seven we have it all here i think we've covered all of this we've covered all of this <laughs> sincerely that's the way to go okay next is to review so that's it for steps four to eight now let's proceed to step nine to 12. Table of content is totally optional. Remember I said we're going to skip that for now. So let's get back to it. So our first is entry exit requirements. Let me just copy and paste it here. Yes, I agree. <laughs> our second is, uh, what's second? Mm, yep. Etiquette and cultural expectations. Okay. Etiquette and cultural expectations. Boom. Okay. Our third event information. Yay. We have it here. Let's just copy it. Fourth budget. Fifth is what? After budget is itinerary. Now this is how you link your slides just highlight the text okay right click or you can use ctrl k you go down to where you have slides in this presentation you click on it oops before then you should know okay here is slice three entry exits requirements entry exits information is slide three you click on slide three you do the same thing for etiquette Control K. You go down. That should be from slides five. Slides in this presentation. You click on slides five. You do the same for events. Event information. Control K. Event information is slide seven. From slide seven. Do the same thing for budget. Budget is slide nine. You highlight Control K. You go down slides in this presentation. Click on nine. And the last one is our itinerary, which is ten from page ten. Control K or right click. Click on click on link. Or another way you can get these details is you highlight. You highlight. Go to insert. You click on link go down you will see slides in this presentation so control K is the shortcut okay click on slide 10 all right because we want our team to be white so we're just going to change the text color 
to wait. Okay, so we're done with our table of content. Step 10, delete all unnecessary unused pages. Yep, before we save it. So let's do that now. Let me just have this in grid view. Okay, so we're going to delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. Okay, so we have 13 in total. Yep. Hey, we can use this as our thumbnail. Let me screenshot it. So let's go to our Google Drive. And here we have it. Here we have our travel pack. This girl has not created a folder for her VA journey. So let's just keep that here because we're going to delete it later. All right, let's move on. Step 12. That's step 11. Step 12. Oh, by the way, your file will save automatically to your Google Drive. All right, yes. So what you're going to do that is just to organize it. By now, you should have a folder for your ALX VA training. <laughs> so step 12 is trip it. <laughs> now is to experience the alternative. You must plan the same trip using trip it. I'm just going to show you how it is. We're not going to plan any thing here <laughs> i'm just going to show you how it is okay so you click on the link and it will bring you here so this is trip it let's sign up i think i have an account here but yeah i think i do this is the one i did during my training i used microsoft designer to generate this image for my trip cover page it says solo trip to see chalice Chalice, okay date day 26 and then we'll save i'm going to leave that image there <laughs> okay from here you can start planning your trip all right add a plan you can add your activity flights lodging car rental whatever you want to add transportation restaurant you can add basically anything you want to add here if you ask me this is easy because you already have like pre templates to use google slides is just meh <laughs> so that's how you use trip it you should explore it make sure you feel all the details and let me know in the comment section which one is more easier for you <laughs> for me it's just easy to use trip it okay <laughs> that's my opinion it doesn't have to be yours so let me know in the comment section which you prefer okay so that's it for travel planning we are back neighbor to your mini project two we just finished your mini project one from step one to 12. Now we are about to dive in into project management. If you are yet to like this video, don't get carried away with this tutorial. Click the like button, drop a comment, subscribe. 60% of people watching this video are not subscribing. Like, why? <laughs> that's like the only, it's not the only, that's like one of the ways you show that you appreciate what I am doing. The other way is to send me super thanks. <laughs> okay, so let's dive into it. First thing you want to do is to click on the templates and make a copy. All right, rename this with your name underscore VA employment project plan slash date 31st October 2024 that date okay next thing I want to do now is to change the font please week activities test milestones before the respective date okay all right so what I'm going to do now is to highlight this change it to VA employment project plan step two is the deliverables let's think think of the main steps you need to fulfill in order to be employable as a VA by 31st of October or your desired date 10 deliverables slash action points all right okay so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten this is where we're going to stop okay so what do we add here <laughs> enrollment complete the VA program this is very valid it's me start date when did you people start uh, I think September 26th you started to September 26th. My memory is, is was it September? No, I think it was 23. 
is on a Monday, 23, and you're ending. I don't know when you're ending a program. <laughs> I have no idea. Oops. Uh, this is October. When are you ending your program? Oh. I don't know when you're ending your program. So let, let's just work with October 18th. I know it's not correct, but let's just work with that. It's too short. <laughs> okay so this is in progress you're going to change that to in progress so the next thing we're going to have here is job search create so we're going to say create tailored resume for different JD so JD means job description so create tailored resume for different job description who is doing that Moi. <laughs> okay so that will happen from when today's 14th to use tomorrow's date to plan this you can just work with whatever you want to work with okay so i'm going to use 15th how long does it take to create a resume just <laughs> doesn't take long i have videos on the channel though there is a module for that i don't know i think it's in week six or so yeah i have a video on that already so i'm still contemplating if i'm going to make a video for that week for you or you're just going to have to watch that one again so we don't know yet okay so we're going to use the whole of tomorrow to create the new resume and then our status is not yet okay so the next thing we're going to do now is still going to fall under the category of job search which is going to be let me drop this down okay which is going to be oh uh, what 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 optimize to optimize our LinkedIn profile or oh, let's say create in case just for people that don't have a LinkedIn profile yet create slash optimize LinkedIn profile I'm the one doing it so I'll do it there I'll do it the next day let me see do it on the 16th this is something you can just use a few hours and do so still the same day then you change the progress to not yet next is still going to be job search <laughs> it's still going to be job search drag this down so what are we going to have here let's say we create upwork create upwork and fiverr account okay i hope you are following me on fiverr account and apply for gigs so our next category is going to be job search still i need you to stay with me you can do this anyhow you want to do anyways this is just to guide you all right you can do this anyhow you want to so job search and what does this entail for this next category all right it's going to be send it's going to be for us to send what what what, what send cold emails and messages to clients on linkedin so next category is going to be <laughs> let's say clients onboarding action item is going to be sign contracts mm, with three clients the next category is going to be uh, VA work it's going to be VA work and then we'll say start start working with client one Okay, now let's choose the date. After signing the client, so start working with client one from Monday. A short term thingy. So I'm going to say 11 to Friday, probably. <laughs> you remember, you can do this anyhow you want to. So the next one is going to be VA work still. Mm, start working. Oh, see my spelling. not cool start working with client two more
first category is going to be contracts renewal all right and we are targeting client three so we're going to say renew contracts with client three for a year timelines i'm just creating them i'm just creating them right now so sit down think about it and create an employment project plan for yourself that is realistic okay make sure it's realistic all right let's go back to savannah now and check the next step okay so we have for example you must complete all milestones before you graduate a deliverable to complete milestone eight must be listed before the deliverable for graduation so we did not create a category for that of having resume and linkedin in separate tabs in separate roles we can add linkedin here we can see we can remove this and then add it here so here we have create the lord resume for different job descriptions excuse me <clears throat> create slash optimize linkedin profile okay so we're going to arrange the date as well so instead of 15th we're going to change this to 16th next one is going to be category is going to be a milestone so we're going to say complete va milestone eight as i said i don't know when you're graduating so if you're graduating if your graduation is on the 18th let's assume that by the 16th you're done with your milestone so we're going to leave that the way it is okay so we need just 10 tabs you can increase your tab if you want <laughs> but what you need to submit your milestone is 10 okay you can also add another tab for graduation here but personally i don't see the need because the first one has it enrollment or you can just say or you can come here so instead of creating another tab for graduation you can just come here and put a slash here enrollment slash graduation yay <laughs> we are smart <laughs> yeah because we have the start date and end date here so there's no point creating another tab another row for graduation so that's it let's move on to the next step which is to save remember this is save automatically in your google drive so let's check out our google drive now here we have it this is our travel pack and this is our va employment project plan now the next step is to submit in the va group i created so many people are complaining how they are having errors in submitting their task i don't know what the problem is though if you copy the link correctly i don't think you have any issue to copy your link correctly what you need to do is come to these three dots here click on it click on share click on share again mistake some of you make is that once you click on share you click on copy link once you, when you click on share click on share again if you click on copy definitely they're going to bounce you okay <laughs> so here instead of restricted change this to anyone with the link allow it to finish loading and then you click on copy link click on done and go back to your savannah what did i copy <laughs> i think that was a travel pack you impute your link make sure to click on save before you click on done i made this mistake once when i was doing my own training i think in one of my tags or so i just clicked on done and then i moved on with it when i checked back i was like what's wrong hello i suffered for this tag. I, I think it was yes <laughs> i think it was this travel plan what do you know how i suffered for this what are you saying <laughs> so please make sure you click on save before you click on done okay now you do the same thing for your project plan go back to your google drive click on the three dots click on share click on share again click on this little arrow change it from restricted to anyone with the link allow it to finish loading click on copy link get out of there go back to your savannah god is bigger than you you know that right and then you paste your link click on save click on done and click on next neighbor <laughs> we are done with your week four milestone i decided to time myself for this recording i started at 12 30. guess what the time is 4 22. 
that's how long it took me to record this the only time i stood up from here was to get water from the fridge <laughs> So please, if you are here to like this video, kindly give it a like so it can reach a wider audience. Subscribe to the channel and I hope this video was helpful to you. Help yourself by going through the lesson materials and before you do this project, before you do your milestone, take this seriously if you really want to do this, okay? Don't get overwhelmed or fixated by completing your milestone and then you're learning nothing. Important to go through your materials. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on Thursday. Check out other videos on the channel as well. Bye, neighbor.